brought to you by Virgin Media. Now, Colin Farrell directs the documentary It's Not Yet Dark, which tells the story of Simon Fitzmaurice, a young Irish filmmaker who went on to direct an award-winning feature film despite the diagnosis of motor neuron disease. I have lost mobility in my limbs. I can no longer speak, swallow, or even breathe without artificial help. But I can still feel everything. The director of the documentary, Frankie Fenton, joins me now. Frankie, you're very welcome to Box Office. Thanks now, very much. I have a personal connection to Simon Fitzmaurice. We actually were in college together in DIT. You're kidding me. Yes. So <laughs> I am thrilled, beyond thrilled, of course, that this documentary has been made. Um, Simon yeah. is an incredible filmmaker himself. So how did this all come about and the relationship with you and him? Well, Simon was making a film called My Name is Emily. And the producers of that saw what he was doing was something of a world first, actually. It was a man who was actually directing a film using eye gaze technology, just using his eyes. Mm -hmm. So they felt that maybe we should be documenting that. So that's kind of where I came in. And of course, Sundance, let's talk about that. You were there and of course, Simon began his career with Sundance in his own film premiere. So That's talk right. us about being full circle for both of you. Yeah, it was actually a little insane showing, because part of the film shows Simon on his career, on, his, uh, on the way up. His short uh, got into, the sound of people got into Sundance and uh, yeah, to, to have that part of the film being shown where Simon is talking about being nervous in Sundance while I'm sitting there in, in the film watching my film being nervous <laughs> it's very meta but very it, meta, yeah, yeah but it was um, it was very very special and I think um, Sundance really kind of liked the idea of bringing Simon's story back to, back to yeah, Sundance so it's a lovely yeah. it's a lovely tribute as well which is really nice let's talk about Colin Farrell of course he narrates right. the documentary That's how right. did you get Colin Farrell on board? well Colin and Simon were actually Buddies, just okay. well, actually, after I, I, or so I believe, I believe Colin had read It's Not Yet Dark, became a bit of a fan, and ended up um, calling around to their house. I think Root tells a very funny story of um, <laughs> Colin uh, being given about 30 minutes before uh, Colin is about to turn up. So there's a scramble for tea and biscuits to make sure you know it, okay. absolutely, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, but uh, yes, it was fantastic that that Colin did come on board and he really kind of lends his uh, the, the emphasis of his words to, to, to Simon's meaning so he really did a great job I think. Absolutely and I think Colin only puts his name to projects that he really is passionate about so that's a great coup for you guys as well which is wonderful. So what are your plans and your hopes and dreams for the documentary? Well to be honest it's really you know for as many people to see it as possible but really to for as many people as possible to see Simon and Ruth's story and hopefully that their story can kind of uh, impact them the way uh, it has done in, at festivals around the world. Okay, we want to get as many eyeballs on it as well and make sure that people see this fantastic, uplifting and heartwarming story. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. To have you the hardest thing about living with MND is the distance it puts between me and those I love. The best thing about living with MND is the living part. I love being alive. Brought to you by Virgin Media, a new era of entertainment awaits on Ireland's fastest broadband network.